Last days that we're supposed to have pretty decent weather I thought it'd be a good time to come out and take the horse for a ride and finally do that update I promised two and a half years ago on my uh, Colorado saddlery saddle like I said I had it two and a half three years at this point running great great saddle and so uh, let's saddle old Fergus up let you guys see him with it on and he is with the saddle on him so Fergus is a four-year-old fox trotter, and um, this buckskin model of saddle I got has the semi-quarter horse bars on it. Things that I'm most happy about the saddle is the way it fits my horse particularly. Being a fox trotter, you know, he's not as wide up top as a, uh, as a quarter horse is, but man, it uh, sits on him real well. So this is the buckskin model, like I said. It's kind of an association tree. Uh, I think they call it a Colorado association tree or something, but it's not a slick fork or a wade. It's got the high candle in the back, um, lots of rings and loops and stuff, and it's actually almost set up like a mule saddle. You could tie on, tie down a lot of stuff um, on there if you wanted to. Um, I've got me a set of saddlebags on there right now, and that's about it. I had the horn wrap added after the fact because the horn wrap that came with it was complete garbage. Structurally, and the major leather components associated with the saddle it's it's been great so yeah i'm gonna hop on and we'll take him out for a ride and i'll talk a little bit more about it you know i don't want to give anybody any kind of illusions they're definitely not a uh, custom saddle you know these are a production saddle assembly line type but what i was seeing out of these production saddles uh, is definitely beat what i saw out of any of the other production saddles so i kind of did some reading and researching on the specific models that were available and turned out for me I really wanted the Forest Service Special, and they didn't have that one in stock. He's got wind of that dead deer right there. Um, so the next closest thing they had that met that met kind of my needs was the um, was the buckskin model, and that's what I have. Uh, that's what I ended up getting. Yeah, basically of the production saddles that were available, um, that were in my price range, Colorado Saddlery definitely had them beat as far as initial quality from what I could tell and every single person I'd read a uh, review about them online so, you know of course they would go out of their way to make sure you knew that they weren't a custom saddle which I already knew um, but they definitely complimented them as far as their quality as a production saddle so um, that's what maybe turned me on to them to begin with me and Fergus were out loping out on a trail and this was back when he was right around two years old we we're going pretty fast and uh he just was dinking around and not paying attention and tripped full speed and i went over him and he flipped over and the saddle landed obviously he was still strapped to him so he landed on top of the saddle um, aside from a couple of good scratches up here on the pommel it did just fine now there's a lot of factors in there you know how fast he was going, how heavy he is, the angle that they were going down, where it still could have broke the tree, I guess. But now, from what I understand, the trees on these things are uh, fiberglass wrapped, but there's still wood underneath, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But whatever it is they got going on, durability-wise, it, uh, it worked. All right, so we're starting to level out here now. We just did two laps around the <coughs> pasture out here. It's probably 100 acres. <coughs> all the way down and around. I forgot there's a youth pheasant hunt going on today. So lots of shots going off around us, but it's good. My intent for him and for this saddle is to be used for getting into the back country after elk and deer. So yeah, you know, so far again, I'm super happy with the saddle. Just wanted to mention a couple of the little flaws that I felt like the saddle had were kind of the little gimmicky things. It had a cool um, hoof knife attachment that goes on the rear cinch. And that thing fell off probably after three days. Luckily, I found it when it fell off. I had to reattach it with some 550 cord. And hey, so, um, 
so I still have it, but you know, it, it, it wasn't on there that great. And then, um, some of the keepers for your, for your latigos and your cinch and stuff, those aren't gimmicky. They're great, but, um, you know, those get lost too. And I've had to replace a couple of them, but that's not the saddle's fault. That's just my fault. Loop for your rope is still in really good shape. Not showing any signs of cracking. The only things I've done to this saddle are put neat's foot oil on it. And that, uh, that seems to do really well. It's, you know, two and a half years later, we still got some creaks. It's not, it's not like a good war in rat saddle or anything, but it's, uh, it's doing great so far because the stirrup leathers were so thick and stiff. And that's a good thing. I mean, there's durability there for sure. I ended up just, uh, twisting the stirrup leathers to hold the stirrups out. You can see them right there, actually, how they're still twisted. I did that six or seven months ago and I've left them that way, but that's made it so that the bottom of my foot and the sides of my foot aren't feeling so much pressure and pain from the stirrup leathers not wanting to twist and let my feet um, sit straight in the saddle. Another thing I've done is I replaced the standard cinch that came with it. It's just your typical cotton cinch. I don't remember how many strands it is, but I picked up a cactus saddlery 28 inch. It comes with a 30 inch. And like I said, he was two years old when we started out with this thing. So he's still a little bit skinny and I had to go with the 28. I actually still have the 28 on and I know I need to put the 30 back on. The sense was fine. The quality was fine. I just couldn't use it for him specifically. One other thing I wanted to point out is the, uh, the dies that they use to dye the, your sense, your latigo down here. Um, it's pretty dark. I mean, it's nice looking, but it comes off and you know, I got a white horse, as you can see, and it stains the side a little bit. I've had people make comments, you know, oh, is he bleeding? After I ride him, because it looks kind of red. No, he's not bleeding. I actually ride my saddle pretty dang loose. Um, it's just the color of that uh, latigo there, it's staining him. So we get back and get completely unsaddled. I just want to again point out, you know, my overall impressions of the Colorado Saddlery product line are pretty dang good. Um, if it's a saddle you're looking at getting, I would say pull the trigger. The price, the durability um, for a production saddle are just, I'm super happy with it uh, three years later. So that's my final say on it.